Hello, and welcome back to Popeye Plays Higurashi Chapter 3. Uh, last time, we started off uh, this whole thing uh, after choosing the worst art possible for the characters. We went on a uh, cooking adventure where we bet everyone else in our group at school that we could cook a better lunch than them, and the loser has to tell the teacher... Uh, who is a curry fanatic, that curry is the worst possible thing on the face of the earth. Uh, after nearly burning down our house, uh, we're rescued by Rika and Sadako, and we learn that Sadako has uh, an older brother named Satoshi who's gone missing, I believe they say for about six months at this point. Um, and that's where we ended off. So today we're going to be continuing. Uh, we'll probably just do the second uh, chapter. Uh, I think that's what they call these. Yes, the second chapter um, today. Uh, so yeah, let's pick it up from there. Such nice music. I'm sure that'll only go downhill. Mion gleefully announced the beginning of lunch. And Sadako already knows what's going to happen, so... Of course she's excited for it. In Rena's case, I don't think she'd lose even if she wasn't taking it seriously. Me. Hello, Fire Swamp. There is the Meep to invite you. Oh yes, and we have our new rule courtesy of Fire Swamp, where if you insult him, you must give him uh, head pats in chat. Nope, not at all, Mion. I scratched my head and gave her a dry smile, because we all know what's going to happen next. My bento today had been made entirely by Sadako last night, who somehow found time after going home at like midnight to make another bento that's better than the one she made for us. It had none of my personality, so there wasn't anything there that they could praise me for. Yeah, the difference between mine and Mim's is I'm pretty sure Mim has his setup for more direct uh, interaction with viewers, where I have mine on more of a delay, as I know my internet's not as good. So... Yeah. I disagree with your statement that the cursed art is the best. This expresses how I feel about this cursed art. I don't expect too much from it. Was it really better to hide the fact that Sadako came over and made dinner last night? I wonder how they'd feel if I, like, stayed up all night and made a better bento after all this. Well, of course it was. 
If I revealed that I didn't make my own bento, I'd sure I'd end up playing the punishment game. You're gonna lose anyways, we all know this. Today's punishment game was to stand right in front of the curry maniac Chie Sensei and say bad things about curry. It wasn't too different from telling someone to jump out of a hundredth story window. It was exactly the same as telling someone to die. Called a draw? No, someone must always be punished. That's these people are just all uh, masochists. That's what I've decided. Somehow I feel like they're not going to accept that, Rika. My simple bento with last night's leftovers could never have stood up to everyone else's bento that they made to win. I fully understood Sadako and Rika-chan's concerns for me as they tried to end the showdown peacefully. Peaceably. Interesting. Peaceably. However... The club president, Mion Sonozaki, would not be convinced by something like that. It's nice music. Keep this music up. I half expect Mion's lunch to come with, like, a full bottle of sake. This was bad. At this rate, I was sure to be the sole loser. But, well, I didn't make this bento after all. Maybe I need to resign myself to my inevitable loss. Did you not resign yourself last night when you nearly burnt your house down? So we'll get other people, and you can bribe them, Keiichi. Mion commanded everyone who just started eating using her club president voice. Pretty sure she's also the class president, so she can use her class president voice to command them also. Everyone in the class was used to being dragged into Mion's club activities. Yeah. Came the energetic voices from here and there. Everyone already knew that the showdown this time involved an utterly fatal punishment game. And also, who doesn't like eating food? They were all very interested in what would happen to whomever lost. Of course, they wanted the thrill of seeing something terrifying. Like this art! Here you go! In exaggerated fashion, Mian pulled the lid off her multi-tiered ornate bento box. This is starting great. And there was nothing, because we didn't want to animate it. Multiple cheers of joy erupted at the brilliant sight. すごいですわね。お説道理みたいでしたよ。嘘だ。嘘に決まってる。こんなの。どこかの仕出し弁当の中身を映し替えただけに違いない。こんな純日本風な料理をミオンが。ミオンが。あの、その先ミオンが作れ
It would be perfect if Mion just like went out and bought food, uh, bought the plastic food Japan loves and put it in a box and no one actually tasted it. I also wish I could talk with stars. Rena's bento was a beautiful mix of the two colors of egg and mincemeat, and it too was a bento staple. The Sobro bento. She had been thorough with the side dishes as well. They were abundant in number. How big are these lunch boxes, man? She had spent more time than usual on it, but it was unassuming and truly nonchalant. One couldn't ignore the household warmth in it that Mion's bento lacked. Once again, every one of the judges wrote a score on their note paper at the same time. There seemed to be some who were revising their opinions when they compared it to Mion's score, too. The whole classroom seemed split between Mion and Rena. And on everyone's face, it was clear that they all wanted to be tasting them rather than... Why are they not tasting them as part of the scoring? I see we're clearly saving ours for last because you saved the best for last. Come to think of it, Sadako and Rika-chan ate with me last night at the my house. It was impressive that they still made a bent. I made this point earlier. Like, they went home at, like, midnight. These kids had no sleep last night. Both their bentos were clearly lacking compared to Mion's artfulness and Rena's perfection. However, because of that, you could sense from them how hard they worked. The toppings were a little on the rough side, but you could still feel that they tried their hardest. Made you feel a little biased so you could give them more points. And clearly no one's going to give points to the one dude. A few people stuck by, struck by just that once again, revised their opinions, and wrote in scores on their notepaper. Why don't you just wait till they're all revealed and write your scores at then? Sadako and Rika-chan glanced at each other and grinned happily, because they know what ours looks like. <laughs> eh? What? When Sadako told me, I broke off from the others and secretly looked for my classmates' bento boxes. There. Tomita-kun and Okumura-kun's bento boxes. I took a quick peek inside and... Ah. Uh, half the contents were missing because they stole them because they didn't have time. Not bad. I love how they trust that their classmates would have a better lunch. And those like two classmates are probably like, well, screw them for stealing my lunch. Except those, I think, are the, t the two boys that have crushes on them, so actually probably not. In the end, Sadako and Rika-chan hadn't made bento today. But neither had you, so I mean, it's, I think that's fair. A bold move. They got Tomita-kun and Okumura-kun to share their bentos with them. Oi, Tomita-kun, Okamura-kun, what was the price of the price? What was the Why is this a black screen? They had character art for these people in the last chapter. Curse you, Sadako, and this art. What an impudent trick. Also, Keiichi, I'm pretty sure this is the time that you should be figuring out how to top them and not discussing with people that they took lunches from. Sadako grinned, showing her fang-like canines, and laughed in triumph. 
K9 singular it should be. Heh, <laughs> 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 how naive. Buying them out with watering duty alone? They're men. If you're gonna buy them out, you need to use something a lot spicier than that. For example, hmm. Like giving them three tickets to walk Sadako and Rikachana around like dogs all day with them on all fours wearing tails and with leashes around their necks. Whoa, that would... That might be enough to get me to do anything. And maybe arrested by the FBI. As I was lost in my wild fantasies, Mion clapped me on the shoulder and called me back to reality. Damn, it was just getting good. いよいよケイちゃんのお弁当だね。ケイちゃんの昨日の予告だとかなりのものが期待されるけど、実際はどうなのかな？ケイチ君ってやるときにはやる人だからね。レナ、今日はとっても楽しみにしてたんだよ。
これなんか缶詰を開けただけだよねこっちのキュウリは包丁が通ってなくてきれいに切れてないしケイちゃん包丁とか全然扱ったことないでしょ経験不足が明らかなんだよねええー、経験不足もいいところでございましてよ彩りもかなり単調こればかりはセンスのなさに呆れるね<笑> That is fair. The presentation was the one thing you could control. So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Excuses, Keiichi. Keiichi, Keiichi. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Tomita kun and Okumura kun were chosen from our many underclassmen because that's the only people we've named. Tomita kun quickly adjusted his glasses and took a step forward. Why do you not have the character art for him? You literally had it last game. Actually, I wonder if it's, there's, just not a, there's just not a cursed art version of them. They're like, no, we cannot draw these people in this cursed art. These kids are too innocent and pure. We'll give them nothing. Ah, dark green. No one will want to eat it if you describe it like that. I had forgotten. Tamita kun and Okumura kun have been bought out by Rika chan and Sadako, so they were trying their hardest to let them win and make me lose, weren't they? Gah, what strong wills they have. It was charming, if only because they were working so hard despite having been bought out. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend that they're ghosts. They died because they didn't want to have their cursed art versions exist. The classroom, convinced by the elucidation of the mystery they were thoroughly baffled with, raised many raised mysterious groans of admiration. <laughs> Make them taste it. ちょっと冷たいけど、でもこれを機にケイチ君もお料理の楽しさに気づいてくれればいいのかな、かな。そんなことより罰ゲームが僕以外なら何でもいいのですよ。Rena was giving a dry <laughs> smile as well. <laughs> she laughed in such a vile manner, but she didn't look like she meant it. I knew that Sadako was speaking ill of a bento that she practically made herself in front of a whole classroom, and I could tell how painful that laughter was. Okumura kun said before that this bento lacks spirit. But among all the bento laid out here today, there wasn't a single one with as much spirit as this one. This meal that she made for me yesterday in such a good mood, though it looked like she was in a bad one, I won't let it end with this slander. When I began to speak in a low voice, the expressions of all the members of the club changed. Mion clicked her tongue. This man was baring his fangs at the last moment again. Kumura-kun, who had suddenly been placed in the spotlight, looked flustered for a moment, but immediately he stammered in reply that I was right. Kokoro no tegi wa nanda? Kuro ka? 
努力か汗か涙かその結晶かならば俺の手に残るこのやけどは何の評価になるんだあケイチ君それ油が跳ねたやけど Great. The burn marks from what I almost caused a fire yesterday looked like I was having a ton of trouble cooking. What do you mean, just looked like? You were actually having a ton of trouble cooking. I could clearly tell that the classroom was forced to acknowledge the effort I put into it. Oh. No, you didn't. These are not your results. So, they were Kokoro Zadino, huh? Don't and that. Lena, I'm going to get a dino. But, Joe says to the Kokoro the Hilka Sanakatera, that I'm a mighty Susman. The girls in the class started to nod in agreement. Okay. The tables are turning. But Tomita kun and Okumura kun, bought out by the objects of their unrequited affection, weren't about to lose either. They shifted to the counterattack, clearly exceeding the price they were paid. That's right. That's how it goes. The male students took Tomita and Okumura's side. Gah, they did have a point. Much clapping. This time, the female student in the class took my side. Good. Now we're even. I'm surprised there's a class that's an even male female split. Actually, I guess it doesn't have an even split because the other four girls presenting their Benno boxes wouldn't be included. So you do have slightly more girls than boys, just that the people voting are more of an even split. The girls in the class began to boo loudly at his remark. Now even Okumura San was panicking. Why did you switch to San from Kun? <laughs> Mion sees herself as the judge, even though she's not supposed to be. <laughs> Wait, why are the others not allowed to say remarks? But you called up these two boys to make remarks? And aren't, aren't you the defendant, Keiichi, not the defense attorney? Or are you just representing yourself in this situation? Okay, see you, Nigels. It was nice having you out. I should be on about the same time uh, next week. Yeah, see ya. The girls in the class again gave cries of support as they all applauded. In response, all the men in the class began to boo.
検察側の反証を認めますどうぞ<笑>例えば本件をお弁当ではなく誕生日のプレゼントだと例えば誕生日の日に私富田が手編みのセーターをもらったとするそして彼岡村は図書券を1万円分もらったとする That felt strangely real. Was it actually just an example? 常識的に考えてどちらに心がこもっているかは明白ですつまり手編みのセーターこれはお弁当に言い換えれば手作りのおかずが相当するそして単なる金券に過ぎない図書券はお金で買うものすなわち無味簡素な缶詰に相当する Boys and girls all begin to argue amongst themselves about presents They were all talking about what they received as presents in the past Clearly they don't care about what's happening right now anymore You're getting them far too off track. Damn. To me, they couldn't. He changed the subject to something that could easily grab everyone's attention. Not bad. These kids are like. I'm pretty sure these boys are about the same age as Rika and Sadako, which makes them like 10 or something. For being like 10 years old, they seem to be pretty good at、uh, debate. I'll lose the initiative at this rate. Objection. The witness is a ghost and therefore not admissible in court. Yes, it's a different kind of spirit. Mian's <laughs> such a dick. <laughs> Why do you get to decide what is admissible and not? Damn. <laughs> ここで大事なのは送り手の心と受け手の心は全く違うという点です皆さんの目の前に実際に手作りのちょっと左右の竹のくずれてるセーターと1万円分の図書券が置かれていてどっちがいいと聞かれたらどっちを取ります図書券で
Because why would you hire, like, three people to make that same thing? Ah, now the courtroom is in chaos, and the teacher doesn't care at all. I'm sure we're being super loud in this one-room courthouse, and all the teachers should be pissed off. And the principal, too. But I can't allow myself to lose. And not only to avoid the punishment game, but also to protect Sadako's honor. Defendants, plural. Slowly and strongly I nod and step up to the dais. Tamita-kun, Okumura-kun, do you two really think you can beat me with mere words? At some point, I began speaking formally. Prosecution hesitated to speak. Got you. So, Tezukuri no Bento to Pombini Bento deva Mataku Hikakuni Narana no des Dona Hidoi Tezukuri Bento de Atemo Tada Katekta Dakero Pombini Bento to deva Krabe Moni Narana Hotono Kogoroga Kobera So, this is Sora Hoka Sartail. Somebody. Boom. Mic drop. With those impactful words drawn in the air behind me, I pointed my finger. The girls, led by Rana, broke into applause. All the other people in our group were just... just, just like, look at Riku, she's like, yeah, doesn't matter. Some of the boys are admitting it, too. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
I appreciate the fact that because he's trying to protect Sadako, he doesn't bring her up to the stand and throw her under the bus. I love it was just catch ball, and then all of this is not directly in the translation. だからこの弁当箱に詰まった心は彼。岡村君にしか受けられない。それを割り込んで奪ったら、もうそれに心はないのです。ダンダンダン。Yeah, <笑> pleads the fifth. <laughs> Mion the judge folded her arms and began to hum. I couldn't even take a guess as to what Mion was laughing about. Frankly, I didn't know whether I would win or lose. Shh. The entire classroom quieted. まずは、被告、前原圭一の弁当が客観的評価として非常に出来の悪いものであるのは間違いない。それはこうしてみんなの採点の集計結果が物語ってるからね。What are the results? I'm kind of curious. Gah. でも、圭ちゃんの言う通り、料理は味だけじゃない。心もまた隠し味として認められるべきだよね。でもそれは 得点評価で言えば、小数点以下。本当に微細なもので、その出来具合の評価を改めるには至らない。ぐー。さて、ここでそもそもの今日の弁当勝負の原点を探りたい。そもそも今日の勝負は何が大前提なのか。そう。被告
Sadako was speaking more and more poorly of herself as time went on, so I roughly grabbed her head and began to stroke it. でも、心だけじゃありませんのよ。<laughs> oh, just shut up already, child. <laughs> I caressed her head, swinging it from side to side. At some point, Rena had come up behind us. I thought this was the cutest thing ever. She was giggling to herself. That was the face of someone who had known everything from the beginning. <laughs> I think you're overestimating the fact that he's an idiot. えっと、えっと、レナさんは何か誤解してるではございませんの? Rena smiled roguishly and turned from Sadako to me. This lecture was clearly not meant for me. She continued saying words that clearly meant for Sadako while facing me instead. Sadako was wearing an ambiguous look and couldn't even nod her head at her. As we were going back and forth, Sadako rubbed her eyes as though she were drowsy, then announced to me on everyone else. If she'd kept it a secret, at least she would have been saved. Tomita Kun looked at her with an expression filled with regret and surprise. <laughs> Mian spun her finger around, then pointed to the hallway, sentencing Sadako to the punishment game as well. Sadako left the classroom behind her, completely prepared, as though she were going with Rika-chan on an errand. Knowing this game will all end up in hell anyways. I didn't mean... I couldn't just return Sadako's kindness with malice. Rika-chan spoke so only I could hear her, grinning happily. Sadako seemed awfully happy, not frustrated in the slightest, like she always was when she lost. Damn. Rika-chan's right after all. Everyone here is a moron. Mio, I will hack you through. Today's event is mine. I built it. I'm the same. That's why I'm here. So, let's play. Huh? Kei-chan, what? What? What's happening? Hehehe. Work hard, eh? Play the game. I'm waiting for a new box. Hehehe. I'm going to get a new box. 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 I'm going to get
Leaving a bewildered Mion and a happily smiling Rena behind in the classroom, I went into the hallway. For once. そうだな。物好きにも程があるぜ。全く今日のパツゲームを甘く見すぎですのよ。私たちならともかく、ケイチさんじゃ大変なことになってしまうかもしれませんわね。肋骨が一本や二本の覚悟を終わりでしょうね
In the end, my selfish request was readily granted. As Sadako murmured complaints under her breath, quite merrily, she came with me to the store. Rikachan didn't come with us. She said she had a thing she wanted to do, or something. I believed her when she told me, but when I really thought about it, I started to think maybe she was being considerate towards Sadako in her own way. Without Rikachan there, Sadako was prouder and more loquacious than ever. I'm pretty sure you can't have stir fry without pork, but that sounds like your own opinion, Sadako. お肉やお魚は鮮度が下がったら売れませんからね。お店も売れ残さないようにドタンバでは安くしてくれるってわけなんですね。もちろん、百戦錬磨の主婦の皆様もそれを熟知していて、こうしてサービスタイムが近づい
楽しみにして遊ばせ。Asadako and I rode back on our bikes. I had thought, was I the sort of person? Until now, I would have lashed back at Sadako right away if she did something to me. Yeah, that was the kind of relationship we had. We would poke at each other a little, then kick up a storm while nitpicking at one another. At some point, that had changed. We weren't playing our usual tit for tat. I didn't provoke her, so we didn't fight. That went for Sadako, too. Sadako, who I thought I knew, hadn't been like this until now. Our relationship was changing little by little. That's what it felt like. But it wasn't something I had to worry about. It was like our relationship had become a little bit happier, a little more charming. I wonder why we changed like this. Was she lonely and projecting her older brother Satoshi who hadn't returned home onto me? Rika chan told me about that yesterday. That was probably exactly it. So, as my actions drew closer to Satoshi's, Sadako was returning how she'd been when she was living happily with her brother. In other words, this Sadako was the real Sadako. Sadako had been able to see her brother again, and had finally gone back to normal. Now that I'd been playing the role of her brother, I discovered that she really could smile so sweetly. But I wasn't Satoshi Hojo. I was Keichi Maibara, a totally different person. I couldn't become her brother. I could come close, but I could never really get there. That was vaguely somehow a little sad. I was wearing Satoshi's mantle, and that would have to come off one day. And that would doubtlessly put an end to this meager, nostalgic, peaceful time of Sadako's. A limited tranquility. A tranquility that would end one day. Putting it in those terms, it really was sad. I shook my head firmly and drove off those pointless thoughts. Nagging like always, but she still seemed really happy. That mood of hers drew me in, putting a smile on my own face. Hey, Keichi Maibara. Why don't we quit thinking about this having to end one day? If it will, then just think about it when that happens. There was one thing, however, that I could say for sure. As long as I smiled like this, Sadako's own smile would never wane. So long as I stayed this way, this tranquility would never end. Sadashi would come back one day, too. That might happen a lot further away than I'd like, but until that day, what's wrong with me being a replacement for him? Saying that I'm not her real brother, so I can't become Satoshi, that was just an excuse. If I just didn't run away, Sadako would stay happy and live a fun life of annoyed nitpicking. I don't know what happened to Satoshi or what made him abandon Sadako and run away, but just seeing Sadako in such a good mood made me think I could persevere as long as I needed to. So this is what I thought. I wouldn't become Satoshi. I would become a replacement brother. So, so, I was looking for this kind of food. It's good. 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 Man, you are a simple person, Keiji. But if salt and pepper is what makes you feel like food is the best thing ever. Don't get me wrong, salt and pepper is great, but <laughs> it seems like such a common thing. But I guess if he's not a cook. ほらほら、ゲイツさん。こぼしてますわよ。そんなに焦ってたべなくてもご飯は逃げませんのよ。いや、逃げるぞ。できたて、ほやほやの最高の味は、できた瞬間からどんどん逃げていくんだ。佐
Sadako was barely taking a bite. She seemed satisfied just by watching me enjoy the food so much. Whenever I filled my mouth with more of her delicious meal, Sadako looked glad. That let me enjoy the food even more. In this way, she kept smiling happily the whole time. Looking at her made me really happy as well. The time passed softly and gently. Before, I would have gone back and forth hurling insults at Sadako. In other words, we would have gotten into a fight right away. I'd never known I could feel such peace of mind by talking to her honestly like this. I was a little bit happy having discovered this new side of Sadako. For example, I was eating food that Sadako had made. There wasn't an inch of me that thought it was suspicious. Before, however, Sadako would have definitely put some sort of trap into this. Sadako looked down, her face bright red, and pointed down the hallway as if to say, Just go already. Whoops, my old habits seem to have come back. But yeah, this wasn't all that bad either. No weird schemes, everything is just natural. And while having utterly unguarded thoughts, I went into the bathroom. Tug, my foot caught on something string like. Huh? Oh, bang, curse land, yo. Rattle. Yagun! Tarai! She got me. I can't believe her. She always does this when I let my guard down. I can't relax for a minute around her. Still, it was kind of funny and I didn't really feel like getting angry. Sadako, laughing uproariously, came over. I picked up the wash tubs that had crashed into my head and went to go to hit Sadako with it. But then I doubled over with laughter that had been welling up within me, so I couldn't manage it. I wish things could go on forever like this. It's not like I was having the most fun since coming to Hinamizawa or anything, but it was probably the first time that I'd spent my day so simply and comfortably. It really wasn't worth much, it was only a few hours after all. As an only child, it was my first taste of having a sibling. Just washing dishes with her felt really nice. Side by side we washed, with the experienced Sadako doing most of the work. I threw in inappropriate words to add to the conversation. The scene was so commonplace and yet so mild and warm. Maybe I had felt this kind of warmth before too in the past. I think I've stood next to the sink with my mother like this when I was little. It made me feel nostalgic when I remembered it. It was the same sort of slow, easy time. It was tranquil. Such a quiet tranquility that the fact I wasn't uneasy about anything itself almost made me uneasy. Hey, wait, Keichi Maibara. You feeling uneasy about something just from spending time so leisurely? There's nothing at all to feel uneasy about. I mean, why would I be punished for enjoying a gentle life? I'd do anything to keep these days going, and I would never do anything bad no matter what. Those are ominous words. I'd work hard for it, and endure much for it. So God... It's not much of a dream to want this kind of thing to keep on going. But can't you grant it? For a second I thought that was the telephone in my house, and I was ready to mute myself. And then I realized it was the in-game ring. I hadn't noticed until she mentioned it. I hurried to stand up, then ran to the phone. Who could it be at a time like this? I did feel a little like the phone had interrupted my happy moment. But I still wanted to brag about how happy the time I was spending made me, so no matter who it was on the other side... Hi, Maibara. Hi, Maibara. Hi, Maibara. That was a little cold of me when she was only calling because she was worried about her son. I couldn't help but give myself a dry smile. 
母さん健一がご飯を作れなくてひもじくて寝込んでるんじゃないかと心配してたわまあねなんとかおかげでご飯はちゃんと作れてる今夜は何を食べたの<笑>野菜炒めとご飯と味噌汁だよスーパーでいろいろとお惣菜を買ったから何気におかずも豊富でさそうそう聞いてよ豚肉なんかちゃんとタイムサービスを利用して半額で買ったんだぜ<笑>主婦の知恵っていうのかなそれからそれから Oh, that was thanks to Sadako, not something I should be proud about. <laughs> but still, I couldn't help but want to boast about the dinner tonight. It seemed like Mom got the hint that I was in a really good mood. こっちも二晩ほとんど徹夜でね大変だったけどなんとか先生のイベントは穴を開けずに済みそうようんよかったねお疲れ Why did my parents come home coming home seem so disappointing I knew a little bit of the reason of course This tranquility I'd never wanted to end was about to end so readily and it was a little painful And apparently there's the sound of seagulls now After being asked what kind of souvenir I wanted from Tokyo and replying that anything edible would be great, I put down the receiver and Sadako appeared, having finished cleaning up her trap instead of the dishes, apparently. At first, Sadako was in a very good mood, but when she saw me put down the receiver with an uncertain expression, her own clouded over a bit. It seemed like she'd gotten the gist of what my phone conversation had been about. あら、それは良かったですわね。明日のお夕食の面倒はもう見なくていいわけでございますものね。家族で水いらずの食卓を囲みなさいませ。そんなことないよ。また明日から、また無味乾燥な食卓かと思うと、なんだか寂しいよ。I love how he just like completely insults his family and his mother. Her dull, plain cooking. Everyone at the dinner table is boring. 何を贅沢言ってますの家族みんなで囲む食卓が一番楽しいに決まってますわ。Her brother Satoshi running away from home came to mind immediately. But there's no gloom in the way she said it. 私も昨日今日と2日間でしたけど、とても楽しいお夕食を取らせていただきましたわ。ならさ、今度は俺からサトコの家に遊びに行くよ。Sadako momentarily made a happy smile, but then a second later it changed to an expression of surprise. Sadako shook her head firmly, her whole body expressing denial. ようやく炊飯器の使い方と味噌汁の作り方を覚えた程度だしそそれもそうですわねこれを機会にケイチさんにお料理をお勉強してもらうのもいいかもしれませんわね It was so like Sadako to take this chance to proclaim that it was all for my sake but there was no way to conceal her own enthusiasm It was true that this gentle time would come to an end when my parents got back There was no need to lament that, though. I can easily put in the effort to continue our mild moments like this. Like yesterday, Sadako told me she didn't need to be escorted home. But Rika Chan wasn't with her tonight. She'd be going home by herself. Everyone knew everyone else's face here in Hinamizawa. So it wasn't like it was dangerous to go out at night. But it still wasn't good to send a girl on her way all alone. At the very least, that's what I thought as Sadako's older brother. じゃあ、学校の近くまで送ってやるよ。あそこまで行けば、結構街灯とかあるから、大丈夫だろう。あ、本当に大丈夫なんですのよ。悪い人が現れても、指一本で撃退してみせますわ。There was no point in pressing her anymore on the subject, so I took a handful of Sadako's hair and rubbed her head vigorously. えい、サトコごちゃごちゃ言うなえっと、Your nini will, be, will bring you part of the way there. That's what I was about to say when I suddenly got embarrassed and my voice trailed off. 
Nini could only be the nickname Sadako gave to her old brother and nothing else. I was about to use it pretty lightly, so I started to feel apologetic and a little ashamed. Nini? Eh? What did Sadako just say? <laughs> that fake laugh. Sadako laughed awkwardly and turned red in the face. Of course, I was embarrassed when I saw her, too, because the fact was I was trying to act like her brother had gotten across. A warm feeling spread out from my chest. It was completely different from romantic feelings, or any of those more impatient emotions. It was much more graceful, quiet, and warm, and calm. Sadako still needed her Nini. I had initially thought Riku was being sly by not coming today, but when I thought about it like this, I could feel a kind of thoughtfulness of her worrying about a good friend's feelings. Maybe Rika-chan had understood that she couldn't play the part of a brother herself. So then, no, let's stop there, Keichi Maibara. There's no point in thinking about it so hard. It means everyone feels the same way. It means everyone wants Sadako to be happy. Sadako is acting as though her nini running away from home didn't bother her at all, even though that wasn't actually the case. She was very sad and always waiting for him to come home, because Sadako was a stable person when she was his sister. In order for her to really be this level-headed, having a brother was something she couldn't do without. In other words, Sadako still needed a brother. Nobody had the right to smile it away as childish immaturity. In fact, they deserve praise for being so close to each other as siblings. That role of brother should be played by a real Nini, by Satoshi, but unfortunately, he wasn't here. So, since I'm here, I'll play the part. And not with a guilty conscience, but in a very natural way. Because... Is there something wrong with seeing Sadako smile so happily? The sound of the motor on her bike light was too loud and I couldn't hear what Sadako said. How loud is your bike light? え、本当にどこまでもニーニーに似てますのね。ケイチさん。そっか。もちろん本当のニーニーとは全然違うんですけども、こういろいろそういうところが似てますの。本当に不思議ですわね。once I said that, I thought for a moment that was absolutely the wrong thing to say, but Sadako didn't seem to mind one bit. As I was flustered for a moment at her hitting the mark, Sadako suddenly asked me a question in a calm voice. It was a very quiet, composed, and adult question. It was quiet, but her voice sounded lonely somehow. I could say for sure at least, I could say for sure at least that was a lie. Yesterday and today, Sadako had been so happy spending time like this with me as siblings, and that was proof itself that she was lying about it not getting to her. So I gave Sadako a light poke in the head. Despite her saying that, her expression seemed a little lonesome. At this point, Sadako herself had realized that her question had been the wrong thing to say. We didn't need to keep talking about something that Sadako regretted. So in order to cut the conversation short, I grabbed her head and pet it. 
もう遅いからとっとと帰って歯を磨いて寝ろついでだから寝る前にうがいもしとけ風邪の予防になっていいぞそそれを言ったらニーニーもですわよちゃんと歯を磨くんですねよ I've never heard washing your mouth stopping you from getting a cold unless they mean mouthwash うがいもしてお手洗いも済ませて明日の教科書を準備してそれからそれから I wondered what kind of sibling Sadako and Satoshi were. I've never seen them together, but I could say without a doubt that they were really close. As for the way in which they were close, it was probably quite like this. It was so cool that the day's heat seemed like a lie, and yet the moonlight was somehow faintly warm, and always a full moon for some reason. The quiet chorus of the insects was pleasing to the ears. Intermediate to that first trap course was just beginner's stuff, okay. Okay, so we'll watch, uh, it looks like just the one tip.、Uh, yes, apparently that one was elementary. You have traps at school? Okay, so we'll watch this intermediate trap course, which apparently is set up at school and the teachers don't care about.、Um, and then that will be the end for today. I could see Tomita kun and Okumura kun walking over to the gym storehouse. They need to get the bag of lime used to make the lines in the court for our next gym class. I, I guess they mean chalk?、Uh, they were on duty today, after all. But in that storehouse, a terrible trap was awaiting them. t r a p is a terrible trap. It's a terrible trap. It's a terrible trap. It's a terrible trap. Why? Why are you setting up traps for them? What did they do to you? The two of them fumbled around with the gym storehouse's lock. Oh? What's this? Okumurkun pointed at part of the door and started whispering to Tomita kun. Then realizing something, they both jumped away from the door. Oh! Satoko! Bareta mitai da so! Spy ka! No, knowing Sadako, it's probably a red herring to really lure them into the real trap. According to Sadako, after they noticed the suspicious trap on the door, they would go around and try and get in through the back window. Which is apparently boarded up. Just as she'd prophesied, they went around to the back. And just as she'd prophesied, they climbed up, opened the window, and tried to sneak in. Did they rip the boards off the window? Poof, poof. An explosion of pure white lime burst out of the window. After a few moments, the two of them managed to crawl away from the window, both of them completely white. <笑>この瞬間がたまりませんわね。蜜の味でございましてよ。いや、しかし、よく書かったよな。あんな器用なトラップ、富田くんが窓を登るとき、どこに手を置いて、どこに足を置くかとか、どこへ飛び降りると
私なりにケイツさんの行動パターンを読み切っているからかかるんですわよだからケイツさんがある日突然いつもと違う癖やいつもと違うパターンになってしまったらかからなくなってしまうわけですわね Bragging that she could anticipate everything I do. That was kind of mean. Yosh. Jasa, Nanka Gamo Yatimiro. Satoko no Yomiga Ataruka Doka, Tamish Timiro. Eh, this way, yo. Kate Sama, Tokun Yomia Sigiskara, as a messy my destay, yo. When we went back to the classroom, Sadako tore off pieces of paper and wrote something on the back of them, making three cards. Of course, I didn't know what she'd written. Kono naka no ichimai o hiite gora nasai mase? Hazure o hika nakereba, Keiichi san no kachi desu wa? Yosh, chousen shite yaruze! Bukatsu de kitae aagerare ta ore no kansei de, migoto uchi abutte kureru! Sadako smirks and holds out the three cards. Set your mind to full power by calming and catching my breath. You know, I think... You shouldn't use your club mindset for this, because that's basically where she knows you from. You should use a different mindset that she won't anticipate. Cool and collected is how you'll win. If I don't pick the losing one, I'll win. Which means if I do pick it, Sadako will win. In other words, Sadako wants to make me pick the losing one. What would she do to make sure I pick the losing one? Those of you watching the YouTube video, we had some internet flips coming back. Hey, we had a little bit of an internet flip. Uh, hopefully, uh, I caught it pretty quick, but basically, uh, Sadako has three cards. One of them says you're a loser. We're trying not to pick that one, and Keiichi's trying to figure out what she would do to make him pick that one. Could she even predict something like that? Statistically speaking, isn't there some rule that says I'm more likely to pick the one in the middle, or the ones on either side? And then it hits me like a flash. This is what Mion would do. So, <laughs> I steal all three cards from Sadako's hand. I predicted what Sadako would do in advance. Sadako wanted to make sure I picked the losing one, which meant all three of these were losing ones. I flip all three cards face up, and on each one there's a single word. You're a loser. で、外れ。つまりはそういうこと。1枚しか取らなかったなら外れにはならなかったということですわ。え。え。じゃ、じゃ、俺が3枚まとめて引くのを寄せいたってのか。I <laughs> held my head in my hands and fainted as Sadako revealed reveled at the might of her abilities. Man, you faint pretty easily, my friend. Her shrill laughter echoed throughout the classroom. And then there was a poof of as lime powder came down on Sadako's head. I looked to see Tomita-kun and Okumura-kun all in white dumping a whole bag of lime powder on her to getting their revenge. Sadako 
それに罠なんて品のない言い方はやめてほしいですわねより優雅にトラップと呼んでほしいですわ That being said, these two pretending to be tough, not only that, but standing there still completely blank and silent. But anyway, ignoring what happened before, having someone chase you with their mouth full of lime in such a way that they can't even speak, yeah, it'll be scary even for Sadako. Our underclassmen crash around the classroom in furious combat, getting white lime everywhere. Hey, Sadako, why couldn't you see this coming exactly? At the time, I hadn't seen something coming to you, th though. The teacher coming through, coming to me afterwards, and giving us all a stern talking to. Okay. Uh, so that was chapter two. Uh, thanks for everyone who came out, uh, and thanks again uh, to Ready Shot for the follow. Uh, I expect uh, next Thursday uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern Time we'll pick up the next chapter, um, but if you want more information on that, uh, the link to the Discord is below on my page. Uh, and if you want to see the previous video, it's already up on uh, my YouTube, which there's also a link down below. But until then, uh, take care of yourselves, and I will see you guys all again next time. Bye for now.